How do and welcome back. Do you like my new glasses? <laughs> Picked them up this week. So today we're going to be tasting Castle Lager. Part of the uh, beers from the Southern Hemisphere series because this is, according to the bottle, South Africa's national beer. And it is a very popular beer in South Africa. It was first brewed in the 1890s, but I don't think it's the best selling. I think that's uh, calling Black Label and it has been for a while. But it is very popular and it's sold throughout Australia and uh, in countries around the world. Okay, let's get the bottle open and we will see what this tastes like. My uh, bottle opener. It's a 340ml bottle and it's 5% so it's a decent ABV and what we get is a very light coloured lager with a nice pure white frothy head. The, uh, the beer was first brewed as I said in 1890 by a man whose name appears on the bottle, uh, Charles Glass, and he originally brewed it for a mining community. But now it's brewed by, I think it's South African breweries in Johannesburg, and they are a subsidiary of AB InBev. So it's your macro lager. <laughs> and yes, it's an adjunct as well. It uses a maize syrup as the adjunct. So let's give this a go. Uh, there's not a lot of carbonation to say this is a lager. Uh, there's a few bubbles rising, but not too many. Let's uh, have a smell. Very light. Not, not a lot of malt at all, uh, but some hop. And it's a dry, earthy, maybe a tad metallic -y hop aroma so yeah pretty typical for a <laughs> mass produced in Be AB InBev uh, lager let's uh, have a taste I'm going in cheers this is my second uh, I thought I'd have uh, a bottle before the review just to uh, get my thoughts together. The first thing you notice is the hop. This is about the hop. There is virtually no malt at all in the beer. Uh, maybe a little bit of sweetness, but it's just in the background. On first tasting the beer, what you notice is it's really light very light, very watery, pretty much no body at all. And then you get a mineral water flavour. And then you get the hop, which is a prickly, earthy, little bit of spiciness in there. It's what I call a prickly hop, uh, maybe a bit herbally. And then after that, <laughs> you really don't get anything at all. There's virtually no bitterness to this beer. It finishes semi-dry, uh, but really within a few seconds of swallowing, it's all gone. So it's a very light beer. Now, that's obviously different from the macro produced beers in, in Europe, where they tend to be a bit more maltier. Uh, and a bit less bitter. This uh, this seems to be the opposite. But the bitterness is coming not from the boiling, not from the isomerization of the hops, uh, where you get that nice lingering bitterness right at the back end. That this bitterness is basically coming from the flavour, uh, those prickly hops and that mineral water. which explains, as soon as you swallow, 
like basically just after a few seconds it's all gone because uh, it's all in the flavour. It's a nice beer though, it, it's yeah it's a macro produced lager, They're, I think they produce loads of this every single year you know. Uh, but in the heat of South Africa it's exactly what you want you know. If I was on holiday in South Africa and it's 45 degrees in the summer this is what I'd be going for. Really easy to drink, really easy. Uh, even though it's five percent, you know, it's just it's just so watery, uh, so refreshing. This is exactly what I'd be going for. So, for their market or their primary market, because it is sold around the world, but the primary market, uh, they've hit the nail on the head. Really, it's it's just completely refreshing. Now I found this beer in my book. Brewing uh, Clone Brews recipes for 200 commercial beers. And actually, when I read through the ingredient list, <laughs> it really made a lot of sense. It is this beer. Uh, this is an extract book, so dry malt extract. And yeah, you use Munton's Extra Light dry malt extract virtually no flavour uh, from the malt. It says here corn sugar, yeah, uh, maize extract is used here. So yeah, that's, that's the same. Uh, corn is a American word for maize. Uh, and then in the, the hops, you use spalt for bittering, but it's 5% alpha acids. <laughs> so like I said, virtually no bitterness. And you only use 28 grams of that, so not a lot. At 5% alpha acid, that explains why there's very little bitterness. And then for the uh, flavour hops, it's, it's Tetnanga and Herzbrucker, and then Tetnanga for aroma. Tetnanga and Herzbrucker, that's where that spiciness, that prickliness, a little bit of herbliness is all coming from. So yeah, when you read through the re when I read through the recipe, it just made total sense it was this beer. So would I buy it again? Would I brew it? Uh, no, and no. Uh, I got this at a good price actually. It was <coughs> £1.30 uh, per bottle. Now remember the VB and this has actually quite a few things in common with the VB, that mineral water taste, the bitterness level. Uh, but the VB cost me, I think it was, what was it, £2.30, £2.50 for a small can, three, 375 mil. Uh, this is a 340 mil bottle, <coughs> but I'm, I was able to pick it up for £1, I think it's about £1.30, £1.20. And that's because it's actually coming close to the end of its shelf life. <clears throat> and the distributor uh, not the prices right down so <clears throat> sorry I've got a bit of a croaky voice now Ooh. so I got it for about £1.30 <clears throat> I'm not bothered about that that suits me uh, if I'd have been paying £2 or more for this I would have been disappointed uh, it's, it's a regular macro lager uh, less sweet than European macro lagers, uh, but that's all it basically is. So I got this for one pound thirty, <coughs> but still, I wouldn't go out and try and find it again, even at that price, because it's just a regular lager. Um, so no, I won't be, uh, I won't be searching this out again and chasing it down and trying to uh, buy it again. Uh, I was thinking maybe do a clone of it and <laughs> we can do a side by side but uh, nah you just if you want to make a clone of this you just get a one can lager kit because <laughs> it's pretty much that and then maybe just you know boil up make a hot tea with some hers brooker and technanga and uh, and you've pretty much got this beer so there you go I'm happy I tasted it though castle lager uh, South African uh, national beer. It's not bad, but it's just a regular lager. 
Right, well, thanks for watching. But before I go, uh, because for me now, I'm going to try and get it up tonight, this video, but for me, it's the 31st of March. And I thought I'd just briefly mention what's coming up in April. Now, I'm going away in April, uh, so there may not be that many videos, but what came today was this. And I'll tell you what else came, but just hang on there a second. Well, I said I'd tell you, but I'll show you. This came as well. So uh, in April, we'll be taste testing Woodford's Admiral Reserve. Uh, this is part of the, the Woodford series that I'm doing. And uh, at the same time, I bought their Woodford's homebrew kit of the Admiral's Reserve. So I'm going to be tasting this and I'm going to be brewing this and this will form the side by side commercial homebrew taste test in May. In April, we're going to do the side by side of the Nelson, the Woodford's Nelson's Bitter. Uh, that's in the bottles now conditioning. So in a couple of weeks time, we'll be doing the side by side homebrew V commercial or commercial v homebrew uh Nel woodford's nelson's bitter for the extract i'm actually going to get round to brewing <laughs> i didn't i was going to do my saison at the weekend last weekend but it was 20 degrees we had a, a mini heat wave uh just for about two or three days and saturday and sunday were absolutely gorgeous so it's you know just get out there and just enjoy the sunshine uh, because <laughs> now I'm back in my coat and it's been snowing today <laughs> so it swings and roundabouts so I didn't brew at the weekend I took the opportunity of the nice beautiful sunshine to get out and about but I am going to be brewing that saison I want to make the saison for uh, uh, spring and summer so oh I've got uh, it doesn't look very carbonated but it is quite gassy to be honest uh, so that's that's also on the cards uh, so yeah the nog uh, sorry the nelson uh, taste test the admirals taste test and also brewing and this is uh, probably because i'm going away that's all uh, i'll be able to do however i do plan whilst i'm away to make some videos maybe doing some taste tests of local beers and uh, I'm going to Germany, <laughs> so no excuse, is there? <laughs> uh, so I might do some uh, taste tests whilst I'm away uh, of the local German, well Berlin to be, to, you know, to be honest, Berlin beers, and uh, I might post some of those up. So thanks for watching. It's uh, it's been a pleasure as always. Yeah, this castle. It's just like your regular macro lager, except a little bit less sweet, a little bit more hop focused, but it's just a macro lager. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye for now.